What's going on guys, my name's Sean, and if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. It took everything I had, and tore it all apart, but baby, don't you touch my scarred guitar. Don't you touch my scarred guitar. So what's going on, today's going to be a good video. We're going to be playing around with this little desktop CNC. Now there's tons of videos online on how to put this together, so we're going to focus on how to use it. Now this little thing is well made. Before we even get started, I want to make sure you know something. This is not one of those $150 CNC's you see on Amazon and eBay with free shipping. This is the real deal. This is the one they knock off. This one's made by Jin Mitsu. It's the 3018 Prover version 2. There's a bunch of little cool features on this they really thought through. Like these little knobs where you can jog it without having to use the software. It's on all the stepper motors. It's just totally awesome. This little guy has a 300 watt spindle motor that's capable of 12,000 RPMs, and it really is. I love the way the control box on this one is closed in. The frame itself is made out of cast aluminum and it's just beautiful. Now that stop button right there is a pretty cool feature, because if your router bit gets dull and it gets kind of crazy and starts tearing up your work, you want to hit that before it tears up your machine. Now hang on just a dang minute. I know what you're thinking. Sean, you got a big old X carve in the garage. What do you need with this little thing? Well, this guy's going to be great to do inlays with when I got the big machine tied up. Now I used a laser engraver to make this pit guard, but we're about to use this little guy right here to put an inlay in it. We're not going to use Candle, we're not going to use Carve Code Maker. We're going to use a little program called Easel. It's an HTML based software online and it's made by Inventables. And it just happens to work perfectly with this little machine. Now that's going to be enough flip flapping. Let's make it happen. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to create a center for this right here. And it's going to be really simple how we do it. You see I have this mat underneath here, right? You see the mat? It's really easy to find the center with that mat. Or the close to the center. You see how I can line the edge of the pit guard up down here. And then I can judge by these little squares here that this dark line will be our center. You see that? I'm going to go ahead and use my square and mark that on the pit guard very lightly. Something we can erase later. Okay, now that I've got that, it's so easy to put this on here. And make a line over here. Go on the other side of this. Make another line on this side. Now we'll use our square. Now the reason that I drew this square here is because I, now I can measure it and it's 3.14 by 2.44. So what did I say? 3.14 by 2.44. Alright, let's go to the computer. Now we're in easel. This is the easy part, really, guys. I know you probably think this is the hard part, but it's not. Now, we're going to set our workpiece here to the same size as that square that I drew. It's going to be 3.14 by 2.44. Then we're just going to go right up here to this little guy here. We're going to grab us one of these stars. Shoot, that looks pretty good right there. I'm thinking. Let's blow that up. Let's move this over here so we can see what we're doing. Might widen him up a little. Pretty cool like that. Get down some. And then center it. That looks good. 
The pit guard's only a .12 deep. So it's very skinny. Now we're only going to go .8 deep on this. So now we want to set our bit. I'm using an other. And it's a .04. We're going to change our cut settings over here. We'll make the feed rate somewhere around 60. We don't want to go too fast. And we'll set our depth per pass somewhere around a 0.15. A 0 0.015, excuse me. Now let's see. Let's simulate it and see how long it said it's going to take. 13 minutes. Okay, now that we've got our star where we want it, let's go up here to machine. We're going to say set up a new machine. We'll go over here to the right, other third party machines. Select the manufacturer. This is made by Sane Smart. I know I said earlier it was Jin Mitsu, but it's made by Sane Smart. It's the Jin Mitsu model. Select Sane Smart, and it's the Prover 3018 right there. We've already got the drivers installed on this because I use it for other stuff. We'll confirm the settings, but you can install them real quick. And this is going to be COM3. Says it's ready. We'll test the machine now. Just use these buttons right here to make sure this thing's moving around correctly. Looks pretty good to me that way. He's going up and he's going down. Everything's working properly. We want the spindle to be set at automatic. No homing. We're not going to use the Z-Probe. Let's go back to our easel project. All right, let's cut this guy. Now I could put my beautiful pit guard right on this piece of metal tray right here and probably cut it and probably nothing happened. But I don't do that. No other CNC guy worth the salt does either. You always put a waste board up here. That way you won't destroy your bit. Now I put some good Gorilla two-sided tape on here. I'm going to try to line it up just perfectly before I stick it down. It's pretty nice. Now we got a waste board. Got our two sided tape on here. Now I'm just going to square the bottom of this pit guard up real nice and pretty on my waste board. It's nice and snug. Now the purpose of drawing that square was because our machine is always going to start at this bottom left corner. So if I put this router bit down here on this bottom left corner on this square I drew, it should put that star right in the middle here. Let's see. Like I said, we can do the fine jogging by hand. That's so sick. Look at this. I'm going to be able to dial it perfectly because of this hand dialing stuff. It's just totally awesome. I wish my X-Carve had it. All right, we're all set. That guy's zeroed out. He's ready to go. Let's get it going on. Take it back, I like what you're saying I love getting you mad, even though I'm just playing I never knew a girl could hit so hard And I swear that the pain goes straight to my heart You can say, girl, I've lost all control But I feel like a bomb about to explode You got me feeling your fireworks tonight Lost in the slump and the fire that burns in your eyes Baby, you blow my mind Your smile is dynamite When I'm touched by you, I swear a spark fly The way you laugh, oh, and when you cry Where you light up my life like the 4th of July And when you search my soul with your eyes You blow my mind
I brought you here to let you know something. When you lit my fuse, you left my heart burning. All I know is you're a pretty little thing. If you walked out that door, you'd put a hurting on me. You can say, girl, that you'd break my heart, turn my world inside out, and tear it all apart. You got me feeling your fireworks tonight. I'm so lost in this love and the fire that burns in your eyes. Baby, you blow my mind. Your smile is dynamite. When I'm touched by you, I swear I'll fall fly. The way you laugh. So with your eyes, you blow my mind Baby, this feeling's getting better all the time Don't know why All I know is that you stop my heart on a dime Every time you flash that pretty smile at your eyes Baby, you blow my mind I love the way it shuts the router off when it's done. I mean, it's pretty cool looking. Let's get it off of there and let's cut the star out and see if it fits in there. Now, I didn't have to draw anything on this because all I have to do is I make my star cut around the outside and then I move it down to the corner. Let's get our Z-axis down on the board. I mean, I gotta say, that's pretty sweet. That was pretty fast. Now I'm gonna go run it through the drum sander, but before I do that, I'm gonna mark that line so I know that it's the top. Well, it's all finished up, and I gotta tell you, man, it looks killer. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, this is a quality-made machine. I actually had to knock off before. Steer clear of that. Go on and spend your extra hundred bucks. This is $2.99. Use it with easel. You can't go wrong. But I'm thinking that's looking pretty good, huh? <laughs> Now you don't have to just use this machine for what I used it for. You could make coasters, little designs. You can 3D carve with this thing. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I promise you, if you got to working with it, you learn how to use it, you did your stuff right, you'll make your money back like that. Now, if you want to check one of these machines out, all the proper links are right down here in the description. If you use mine, you'll save a little money. And I sure appreciate you watching, but until next time, don't you touch my scar guitar or my Jin Mitsu 3018.